testing. What is that? Russell. So what is this thing? That is a four section gear pump. Is that as big as it goes? It might be able to go a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. Okay, that's the biggest one you've seen. In, in terms of sections. Question of the day is, what is testing? When we test this, what do we look for? What does it do? In this specifically, all we're doing is making sure that the flow doesn't drop too much at under pressure. Okay, and it's, so it's allowed to drop a little bit. You're allowed a maximum of 10%. Okay. Steve, what is testing? What does that mean? Verifying the nominal production the <laughs> flows that the pump is supposed to have and its characteristics. <laughs> yeah, that made sense. Thanks. What's your favorite Loctite? No, the one we have green is probably the one we use the most because it's got retaining and it's got the bolt. You can use it for retaining a round object like a, like a bushing or a bolt. It's probably the most useful. Which one is the most annoying to work with? Red. Especially when people don't understand that, you know, one drop seals as good as 50 drops. Then when you go to take it out, you have to heat it up. I've literally had to cut the head off of a bolt and get it red, and there was still Loctite on bolts. Yeah. And the only way to get it off is heat, or? Yeah. Okay. Not just heat it up, it's get the shit glowing red. Yeah. Oh yeah, more torch videos. <laughs> That's where my mind went. <laughs> How much Loctite can we put on this and let us torch it off on the I was like, I'd love to on a, on a cold day. What is wrong with you? Nice. We could bring marshmallows. <laughs> right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> That's our face boast of the day right there. Like when we test all these pumps, what does that even mean? And we have to make sure that all the parameters are followed and in terms of pressure and flow, etc., and that they can achieve the pressures and the flows that it was intended to. If I was a customer, I would want them to do that. Yeah, properly, to make sure it properly. works. Yeah. That's why we test. All right. Awesome. I like that. Thank you, Willie. Damien. I'm just trying to identify some pumps. So okay, it's a gear pump? Yes. Pump? We know that? Yes. Okay. How do you know if it's a pump or a motor? Well, the quickest way is to basically look at the, the inlet and the outlet port sizes. So you can see one big one for a suction. There's two small ones, which indicates that one side's a suction, the other side's pressure. Okay. Whereas if it was a motor, you'd have both both uh, inlet and outlet on either side the same because you can run it either way. Mm. Okay, so essentially we have this tag, but the tag doesn't say what it is. No, this one does. Oh, so then this what are we trying easy. to figure out? This one oh, uh, was, was a little bit more difficult. Okay, oh. what is that? This is, a, this is a Muncie PTO pump. So this is what came on it, which okay. doesn't come up as anything. Naturally. So. That's a pump? This is a PTO pump, so this runs off of a transmission of some sort of either machinery or a truck. And this will sit and mesh with the gears of the transmission. And it'll, if you, if you spin this here, basically the electronics close this, which engages all of this. And now you're getting, once it engages, this running off the transmission will spin this. Well, you have control to turn it on or off. With a lever? Like well, this is electronic, so they'll have uh, something in the cab? in the cab or whatever it is that'll be able to shut it on and off. You still have to figure out what it is? Oh, or? I ended up, uh, if oh, you I look see really, yeah. I see it. really close on there, Yeah. it's kind of worn out, but uh, I had to clean it up a little bit and you can see the model code there. So then do you just kind of like search your catalog online to try to yeah, figure it out? Yeah, I found the catalog online. It's All right. from a company I've never seen in here yet, Muncie. Nice. I've only ever really seen Chelsea or Allison stuff come through here, so. What is testing? Oh yeah. Like when we test things, like, explain it. The testing uh, for each individual pump is going to be different. Um, but for the most part, you're testing to see if the, the flow is correct coming out of the pump according to what size the, the pump is or what model it is. Um, then you're testing it up to a certain pressure, which usually we try and go to its maximum work, working pressure so that we know that when it goes out into the field, that if they end up running it to its maximum pressure, then at least we tested it and we know it's going to do that and work properly. Trent? I just have an easy question. Okay, what is testing? Testing? Yeah. It is to ensure that the pump or motor works to its proper function. So it's like um, 
for a gear pump, you'll just spin it in, basically break in the housing. You're never going to have a perfectly machined finish. But you can see here those scores. That's where you put on a brand new start up your pressure side. It would probably look a little more like that. So the test could be to break in a pump. A bunch of stuff you could do on the test bench. Well, you're next. What are you setting up for? It looks like surgery. What is testing? Yeah, like when we test a pump, like why do we test it? We test it to make sure it functions as it's supposed to. And by functions, what are we looking for? Flow, pressure, make sure if the customer needs it to be 5,000 PSI at 60 gallons, we simulate a load on our test bench so we can put 5,000 PSI load onto it to make sure that the pump holds at to 60 gallons. Working on a Lindy yes. something? They've basically, they've come here three times to do Canadian certification. Lithgo is Lindy certified. We've been certified to do Lindy warranty evaluations. We did Lindy remount program. We did a whole bunch of stuff for Lindy. Richard? No, I just redoing, uh, changing the spring on the relief valve. So I took this little spring out. Which, uh, out of this? Yes, it goes right in here and it determines your relief uh, pressure. This one was for 3,000 PSI and we put one in for 5,000 PSI. And this will go back in stock. It's a rush order, so I gotta hurry. All right, yeah. <laughs> but I'm done. <laughs> the tag's back on. Uh, we're gonna package it and get it over to shipping. Yeah, it looks like it took less and than a half hour based on the time. Yes, it was less than half hour. Nice. Well, I won't keep you then. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rush it over. So. Yeah, I won't bother you anymore. Okay, you get, you no get problem. that problem. <laughs> Take out the door. <laughs> Actually, we haven't asked him. No, we haven't. What are we doing here? So we trying had, to fix it. Sorry. We had this from customer. It's a special forklift control, like a hose power module on it. We were trying to fix it. Doesn't look like it's working, so you're gonna try with a new one and see how it's working. So this is how it's power module. Do we make this or do we? No, just we have it? we had it we in had stock. It. Sandra, what is testing? What do you mean? What is testing? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> I already asked Lloyd this question, so he's free and clear. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. <laughs> Testing's a way of knowing if the pump we build is good. Like testing. This. <laughs> What do you mean by like, why do you write tests in school? <laughs> to know how good you are, so same thing. Okay. We need to know how good the pump is. So, so what percentage like or what mark 50, are we looking for here? 90%. Okay. Yeah, 90% is a pass, 50% fail. Yeah, this one's a fail right now. 10% for case strain. There you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm updating the registry so that they can access this when they need to use the test bench. So they can make like the... Test reports? Yeah, it's so they can make the test reports and not struggle with the, the computer. Save some time. Perfect. <laughs> Jordan, do you know what testing is? Testing? Yeah. Uh, like with these? Yeah. Oh, look at okay, that thing. Don't they make sure everything's running as it should and fluids flowing properly? Is that what it is? I would define it as that too. <laughs>